how would an A's new ballpark be competition for something like Allegiant Stadium, T-Mobile Arena, the brand new MSG Sphere, Thomas and Mack Center, Las Vegas Ballpark, MGM Garden Arena, the Mandalay Bay Event Center. You've got so many facilities fighting for, you know, the next Taylor Swift concert to roll into town like I know you just had at Allegiant Stadium. How does a new ballpark there directly compete with what the Golden Knights ownership have and what Mark Davis has in Allegiant Stadium? Brody, you know you know Las Vegas very well. You need to open up a Las Vegas bureau for your office. You realize this. <laughs> people anyway, have, people um, have commented they would like me to move there, but I <laughs> don't know about that. Listen, um, you've you've you know brought up all these venues. Keep in mind that the hotel casinos have their own theaters as well. And right. I like to think that the athletics, if they do move here, wouldn't necessarily be competing uh, against sports. Um, entertainment uh, is, uh stuff i think they'd be they'd be competing against you know the Cirque du Soleil's and the carrot tops and all these other stuff happening up and down the strip that to me is their their competition to me the oakland athletics coming to las vegas is a mixed bag in terms of competition here in las vegas i think when the dodgers and the yankees and the cubs show up it would be thirty thousand packed no doubt about it but guess what? What happens when the Royals or the Rays or the Blue Jays or the Marlins show up? Pirates, Reds, I can name them Exa- all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, in the middle of the week, if they're playing a Tuesday to Thursday series or something. <laughs> right. You know, I think the first, I, I, you know, again, you know, just based on my experience, I think for the first year or two, if there was this, you know, 30,000 retractable roof ballpark um, just off the strip, I think they would do very well the first year, first second year maybe i think there would be a honeymoon period i think people would be uh going here in las vegas along with uh the tourists you know from a novelty factor because the athletics are not a very good baseball team but i gotta tell you you know you go on whether sustainable see that's that's the big question in terms of whether it could go beyond three five seven eight years i mean the marlins opened up a magnificent baseball right. park at the old at the site of the old Orange Bowl. Right, beautiful ballpark. Guess what? They're kind of empty near the bottom of of attendance in the majors. Yeah. So the thing is, if you own or run one of those other venues, do you want another venue? Well, here's compete? the thing: you brought up a really great question, and that gets that has has political ramifications because the hotel company owners, the MGM Resorts International, Caesars, Caesars yeah. Win. Uh, the folks who, you know, the, the <clears throat> former Sands company that owns Venetian and, and Palazzo and all those guys. You have to wonder where they are politically on this particular issue, you know, and covering this topic locally here in Las Vegas. The only group that's come out and endorsed the Oakland Athletics Baseball Park has been the Chambers, the Chambers of Commerce. They're the only folks on record. Hmm. You don't hear MGM Resorts or Caesars or Wynn or those guys, the big guns on the strip, coming out and saying, you know, big endorsement. You haven't, I mean, I haven't heard it. And here's the point. Would the competition from the athletics be really counter to their own financial interests right. with their own ent- revenue generating entertainment um, stuff that they have themselves? I'm sure they're asking um, – uh, again, Las Vegas is such a b- unique financial market. You, you know, in, in some places it's like, yeah, let's have a Super Bowl. You'd think a Super Bowl is great. But guess what? Here in Las Vegas, the Super Bowl already brings 325,000 people that weekend. Right. The people are already here. I mean, my point is that you have to be really careful about in, in some markets, you'd have a knee jerk reaction to saying, "Yeah, we'd love to have Major League Baseball. We'd love to have a Super Bowl." Las Vegas, it's it's more nuanced in terms of the economic impact because the people, the tourism, is already in place. How much more net income would your market gain uh, because of an A's or a Super Bowl? That's the magic question. You don't hear that answer. You'll hear the economic. Impact. You'll hear six hundred million dollars for a Super Bowl and Formula One generating one point three billion dollars in spending. Well, those are big numbers, but how much net income is actually being generated? You know, outside, of, and you don't hear the net income. And that's the thing about the Athletics Ballpark. You know, um, what's what's really strange about this, Brody, is that this morning I'm sure you see, I'm sure you get the same newsletters from Front Office and sure. you know Sports Business Journal. They send you all the stuff going around the country. This morning, 
I wake up and I he I read that the Orlando market would like Major League Baseball. They have they're proposing a 1.7 billion dollar stadium in Orlando. And guess what? Orlando is a market with 60 million visitors. Las Vegas crows about its 40 million visitors. And the athletics and their lobbyists, I will be telling you this, Brody, they're tell they're telling the state legislators, well, we're gonna have thousands of tourists coming to the A's baseball park. Well, Don't I worry, we won't be relying on the local residents. Well, guess what? Orlando takes your 40 million and tops it by another 20 million <laughs> and we have 60 million people i think the there's a i think pat williams has a group and they're also get this they according to the story they've identified their public uh funding source wow. it's going to be um about 900 whatever 980 million dollars in hotel wow. and tourism taxes to help build a major league baseball park in orlando so there you have a market where people want major league baseball guess what in salt lake city there was a group there that wanted saw that. major league baseball I, mean, I don't see that same civic business group here in las vegas so the a's say to your point about the numbers they say that they will generate four hundred thousand annual visitors to las vegas right. specifically coming to baseball games they also say they estimate that of their attendance, it would be a 70-30 mix, 70% locals, 30% tourists visiting A's games in terms of attendance. You're from there. You live there. You understand the market. Are those numbers accurate? I think yes and no. I think, I mean, like I said, I think when, when the uh, Yankees and Dodgers come here, you'll <laughs> see big numbers. You will see big numbers. I don't see comparable numbers when the Blue Jays show up Got in it. the middle of the week. 